Hi guys, so my mom is going to show you how to make clothes. Hi guys, so I'm back with a tutorial. Um, as you know, it is prom season, so I've been busy. Every now and then I think to, hey, let me make a video, something quick, you know. So right now I'm adding feather boas to the bottom of my train. And I was like, well, let me make a little quick tutorial on this. So what you wanna do is grab your boas. I have five of these because my train is 45 inches long. So anytime I do this double train, I do my train 45 to 50 inches long, which is, you would need five boas for the for 45 to 50 inch train. The boas are two yards long. So once I get it, I just shake them out some. I mean, they're gonna shred. I shake them out some. They're gonna, um, shed regardless no matter how much you shake it out how much you touch on it it's going to be some shedding so i do that and then what you want to do is grab the ends and you will see a thick rope and you will just cut that rope off on both ends so i did one end and then i'm going to do the other end Shake it out a little bit more. Since we made a cut, it's gonna be more falling off. As you can see. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I attach it to my train. Make sure my angle is good. Like I said, I already started. I got down to my last one and I was like, let me do a video. So this is my train and what I like to do is, okay, you're going to grab one end of your boa and like I said, it's a rope, it's a rope holding all the feathers together. So the rope is basically, I got it in the middle and I like to put my feather boa down first. And then I'm going to add my material, which is, this is the right side. I'm adding my material over it. So my material going to slightly cover where that rope is at. So the rope is here and I have it covering the rope. And what you want to do is I have my machine set, set on a zigzag stitch which is the widest zigzag stitch and the widest length, longest length. And you basically just want to feel where that rope is. And that is where you're going to sew. Don't forget we're doing a zigzag stitch. And some people glue their feather boas. I do not glue mine. Because I'm scared it's going to fall off when they're walking. It's a difference between your boas falling off and shedding. Okay, my hand is in the way. Hold on, let me try to go on this side. Try to make sure you guys can see. just gonna feel that rope and that's basically what you're stitching on top of like my presser foot is on top of the rope and I'm just gonna zigzag and sometimes you have to tug it pull it from the back I'm sewing on the rope and yes you will have these extra flyaway feathers getting in the way so normally try to hold your hand to where it's holding it down and just stitch it and go all the way around your train and 
that's it. Like, once you're done, you're done. And it don't have to be just for a trend. You can add feathers to the bottom of your dress, hem, like sleeves, etc., etc. And I'm down to my last couple stitches, so I'm going to cut this extra off that I don't need. I had a little piece left. It's probably about 12 inches long since I'm doing this 45-inch train. That's why I said five bowls will cover a 45 to 50 inch train. So yeah, that's it guys.